Do you know what's overwhelmingly positive and free? This game. Go play it, don't even watch this video, it's amazing. But today we're gonna try and build something that's really stupid yet somehow overpowered. And because I don't have a lot of options, I'm gonna start with these three idiots. One horse, one ant, and one otter. I bought the otter last because as I buy him, he gives a plus one to attack and health for the other two. Then I'm gonna put the ant at the front because as he dies, he'll get attacked first, he'll give a plus two, plus one bonus to one of the other morons. Are you with me so far? It's gonna get complicated. Then we're going to freeze this apple so it's here next turn and use our last remaining coin to roll something new in case there was something we wanted. So now we need to name our team and the options are limited but I mean since the game's serving it up we're going to be the bear beavers. I mean why wouldn't we be? Here's our first opponent. They have a mosquito that means start a battle they get to do one damage to one of my idiots randomly that took off half my otter's health. But now it's our turn, those two cancel each other out. But because it died it gives plus two attack and plus one health to one of my other idiots the horse, who is now going to trade with the mosquito. Then it's the otter versus the horse and they're going to trade again so it's a draw. Now that's not the end of the world because we don't get any trophies but we also don't lose a life. We're trying to get 10 trophies before we lose 10 lives. And I'm not going to stop playing this for the next 72 days. It is way addictive. So next I'm going to actually stack an ant on top of an ant. That's going to start to supercharge him. It boosts his stats. Plus if it gets to level 2 it upgrades his ability. Then I think I'm just going to buy both of these beavers for now because when I sell them eventually, and I will, uh, they're going to give two random friends plus one health. It's a nice little bonus and they're decently strong for now. The beginnings aren't so important, they're mostly to me about building a foundation. The good things come a little bit later. Okay, I can already tell this is going to be super annoying because we're about to take three damage from mosquitoes which actually killed one of my idiots already. But the beavers are getting stronger, thanks to the damage from the other thing that died, so we're going to take out him, but he's going to take out us, and we're definitely going to lose this battle, it's not even close. So, one life down, but we're still okay, we have tier 2 animals now, and this is where we can start to build something quick. So, we start with 10 coins every time we go to do these upgrades. I'm going to roll, hopefully finding the right animals. A swan is a good one, because they gain 1 gold every turn. That's actually a lot of money. So I'm going to sell this horse because it's not that good to put a swan in there because it also has decent stats. Then I'm going to do something risky. I'm just going to freeze those as is. I'm going to try and roll a better creature into existence and a spider is a good one. I can work with this. So we're going to sell the otter for now and we're going to bring in a spider. And what it does, when it dies, it summons two other smaller creatures. So we're going to put the spider at the front. It works pretty well there. And then we're going to roll again, hopefully getting something that's not one of these. So then to finish off this round, I think I'm just going to give an apple to the spider, which should be one of the long term additions to my lineup. Everything else is going to go eventually. It's the bear beavers versus the sniffling scallywags. First up, the mosquito is going to give one damage to the swan. He can afford it. So now it's spider versus ant. That should be an easy one. But now that ant is going to boost something over there. That fish is actually going to be really hard to kill. I didn't really notice that before. But because my beautiful tarantula just died, he's going to spawn something in his place. And that's going to help take away some of this fish's uh, health because we need the health because that's a lot of uh, damage and health. That could be a bit of a problem. So this ant is going to take off half of its remaining health. That's going to help the swan who's going to die anyway. And then we're just going to uh, lose slowly to both of these guys, which isn't great. But that's okay because I have a long-term game plan. I'm going to lose two health points there. Still okay. Um, speaking of stupid ideas, I'm going to stack two swans on top of this other one. That's going to get it up to level uh, two, which gives it good stats. But I also can uh, get two gold every turn now. So that's a good investment. I'm also going to roll, hoping for something better. A peacock is definitely good. They have high health, but every time they get hit, they gain two attack points. So you can see how that might work out pretty good. So I'm going to sell one of the beavers. That's going to boost randomly a few of my friends. Then we're going to throw a peacock up front for now. Then with my remaining two dollars, I'm going to reroll, hoping for something better than these. We're going to freeze a tarantula there for next time because I can stack it with that tarantula. And that's going to be it for this turn. They already have so much better stuff than us. This might not go super well. So it one-shotted my peacock, so it didn't get its bonus anyway. We traded with those two idiots, but now I get to summon two more idiots also. The two things the spider spawns aren't really going to do anything by themselves, uh, but they have a good use later on and we'll get to that eventually. For now, I'm just going to get decimated by everything we're fighting, uh, but the swan is here to try and save the day. It's going to take out the dog and now we're going to trade with this shrimp of all things. So we lost more health, didn't get any trophies, but now we have tier 3 animals to deal with. So I'm going to unfreeze the spider, stack one of those up. It's now got better stats. 
and I'm going to roll, hopefully, for something better. I'm going to stack the peacock on the peacock because those can get very good. And then we roll again and still not getting anything that we need. This is getting painful. We're going to roll one more time. I'm just going to roll until we... Yeah, there we go. We got an ox that we can't even get this turn. But we're going to freeze it right there. We're also going to freeze the spider. And we're also going to freeze a salad bowl. This is where things can start to come to fruition, though we're running out of lives pretty quickly. We don't have a super strong lineup yet. A couple turns from now, though, we'll be cruising. My best hope at this point is that I'm fighting someone who doesn't know what they're doing, but they look like they have a pretty good lineup, so I'm not super optimistic here. These two are basically going to feed each other's damage for a second, but theirs is going to die first, so at least we have that on our side. Then we can take six of a eight of this thing's health, at least, before we ourselves die. Then a tarantula's up. The tarantula defeated it one hit, luckily, but now it's got to fight a crab who's very tough. But then we replace ourselves with a sheep. That's going to die. We get another two. Uh, those are both going to trade and then yeah i think we're actually gonna win this one eventually it's just a little war of attrition the last thing we got to deal with is their ox but we're actually about to one shot it nope never mind it's got a shield we're going to one shot it now okay now that that's dead our plan starts to unfold slightly our first victory one of ten so we're gonna remove this ant we sell that for one gold now we have 13 gold to spend I'm going to unfreeze the ox. I'm going to put that behind the spider because if the creature ahead of this uh, ox faints, it gets plus two attack. And this turns into three different creatures. So that's going to add at least plus six attack to the ox. And that's where my plan starts to come to life. I'm also going to unfreeze the spider to add here. Now it's going to spawn something else in front of it, which was maybe a bad choice now that I look at it. Because it's going to summon one tier three pet as a four four instead of two uh, tier one pets. But that's whatever to me. I'm now going to use a salad bowl. That's going to give two random pets uh, plus one to both stats, which is perfect. I got both the ox and the spider. Those are two long-term idiots. And then we're also going to take the apple, which gives a plus one, plus one to the ox. And then we're going to use our last coin to reroll to see if there's anything worth holding on to. And there's not really. A lot of people use the whale, but I don't because it's a whale and whales are stupid. Okay, so let's see if my half-baked plan is actually going to work this time around. First of all, we fight a sheep. So I got some extra health there because we took some damage and I basically just traded with a single sheep who now spawned around. But this is where the rest of the plan starts to come in because my spider's going to be pretty strong. Takes out a few of their idiots. And there's a few more. But the spider's got so much more to give because once it dies, it's going to spawn a tier 3 unit like a giraffe. And that's going to help the ox behind it get a little stronger. And that ox can get crazy strong and it's kind of a staple to my whole thing. We're now going to fight a giraffe against a rooster, which should be an easy one. Uh, they also have a very strong dog already. The dogs can get very strong very early, and they can be a lot to deal with. I was kind of hoping to have an ox stand against the dog because we take zero damage to start, but what can you do? We're at least going to take out the dog, then lose to the giraffe. Actually, we're going to trade right here, and that's that. But we did disallock tier 4 animals like the deer and the monkey. The deer is actually very strong. So we have 12 gold. We're going to sell the beaver for now. And I'm actually going to change things around a little bit and put the deer right up front because it's going to summon a bus when it dies. Then I'm going to use this pair to give a pet plus two and plus two. That's going to go probably directly onto my ox. Then I'm going to use this to give two random pets plus one plus one. And that got ox and spider. So that's just fine by me. Uh, then we're going to do pretty much that same thing again. Two random pets, plus one, plus one. Uh, spider and peacock, those are both great. I'm then going to freeze the snail, because if we lose, that comes in handy. So we'll see how this next one goes. The bear beavers versus the fomiantes. I don't know what to say about that, but I'll take it. That thing has 17 damage already. So it's definitely going to kill my uh, poor deer, but then <laughs> we're going to get in there with the bus and kill everything. Oh, that spawned a chick that does 17 damage also, because they front loaded that pretty hard. We might still be okay though because we actually get pretty tough. We have a hippo to deal with but the hippo now has to deal with a whale also and the ox is only going to get stronger as we absorb damage right here. So the ox now goes up to 10 and 10 uh, and it's also very strong. It took no damage there whatsoever. Now it's going to fight a simple monkey and I think it's going to win. There we go. See, we had to sacrifice a bunch of lives to get the start we wanted but now we're starting to pull ahead, hopefully. I just realized we shouldn't hold on to this snail because if we lose again, we're out anyway. So we might as well use that real estate somewhere better. But first up, I'm going to use this apple to make maybe the peacock a little better. I need it to be able to absorb some damage. And then it's just a matter of adding the right parts moving forward. We could upgrade the deer just a little bit. 
Oh, I'm definitely going to buy the canned food though. Gives all current and future pets plus two plus two from the shop. That's well worth the investment. Because now I'm actually kind of curious if I add the 3-3 three, three to the 1-1 one, one deer. Is that going to do anything good? Yup, a 4-4 four, four deer. Then with our final dollar, we're going to re-roll. And hopefully we have something we can hold on to. I do think I want the dog. I'm going to freeze that. Because every time we summon something, the dog gets plus one, plus one. And we end up summoning a lot thanks to our spider. I'm also going to freeze the pair. Now it's just a matter of getting a few favorable matches so we get our momentum going. I'm not really sure what the scorpion does, to be honest. It dies very quickly. But there's our bus, which is going to hit a deer. So we're going to spawn a bus <laughs> over there. So the buses are going to collide, but that's fine. Because it has splash damage, that's going to go through and hit my peacock. But that's just going to boost my peacock's damage at this point. Now we're going to fight a kangaroo, which is going to win. But then we're going to hit it with our tarantula. Our tarantula wins, and then we fight the bird. We win again. Plus we still get a... Uh, pet to spawn in so we were well ahead on that one so i just need to get a little bit of luck with what we get but there's a third trophy and we got tier five animals it's kind of a shame to replace this swan because it's giving us an extra two gold but it's got to go but now we can thaw this dog out and put it here that might not stay there forever i think we could probably find something better eventually but for now we're also going to unfreeze this pair and give something a plus two plus two boost probably him and then we'll do one one on the peacock and so far, things seem pretty good, though we should probably buy a cow because not only are they very strong, but they give two free milks in a shop, they give plus two, plus two. So we're going to sell this dog that we just paid for, put a cow there. We buy these milks to give probably one to the peacock and then one to the ox. And our lineup is just getting that much stronger already. Uh, I think I want to freeze this deer because if I put one more here, it's going to upgrade the deer to level two and have better bus power. Then I'm still going to keep my eye out for more uh, strong animals. The badger could be a lot of fun because when it dies, it does damage to everything around it, which can also be detrimental. But the trick is I can't lose any battles right now. If I lose one, I'm out. But here comes the bus, which is going to attack both of those two. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but we'll make this work. Peacock kicks more damage, so it's going to take up most of the otter's life. But I also lost that, but now it's tarantula time. Mm, that kangaroo is also getting kind of dangerous looking. Okay, that's okay because we got a camel coming in. Uh, the camel is also good for the ox, so that was a lucky spawn. So hopefully it can do a little bit of damage to the kangaroo. And then uh, we're actually going to die to this because... Oh, actually, maybe we're not. Nope, I forgot about that. The ox gets a shield for one hit, which is one of the reasons it's so strong in that position. Because it looked like we are going to lose, but we survived with even a cow at the rear end. There's our fourth trophy. Uh, we did also get a shark, which can be very good, because if I put it at the back, every time one of our idiots faints, it's going to get plus two attack, plus one heart. So it's just naturally going to get super strong back here over a cow that doesn't matter anymore. So we'll go ahead and throw that up there. I'm also kind of curious, if I give chocolate to this deer, it's going to level up, I think. Now, when we summon the bus up front, it's going to have 10 and 10 instead of 5 and 5. That's a huge upgrade. But I also kind of wish I knew this gorilla was here before because he gains a coconut shield one time per turn. Uh, it ignores damage once. This is going to sound stupid, but I think I want the gorilla over the shark. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that that we just bought. But the gorilla may be right here. That way this can do its bus attack. Then the gorilla is going to absorb some damage. By the time we get back here, we'll be pretty tough. Just to be sure, I'm going to upgrade this gorilla maybe once. So it's a 9-9. Nine, nine. So we got a pretty good balance across the way. At least I think we do. No matter what you build in this game, it feels like there's always some kind of counter to it. Like a 25-23 dog is going to be a nightmare to deal with. So we already took some damage due to their early attacks from a skunk. But they also just lost their alligator somehow. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. But there we go. We lost our deer. But now we get our 10-10 bus, which is going to plow in there and do lots of damage to, well, one idiot. Well, the bus is still doing pretty good, and we still got a long lineup to go through. That dog's going to annihilate everyone, though. The beauty is, though, it only has 8 health, so I think we can one-shot it with our gorilla. Oh, the crocodile's back. Uh, as the dog gets more health. But the gorilla took that out, and now I think the gorilla's also going to take out this dog. It also has a coconut shield. So, yep, it absorbed the 27 damage without taking any health at all. Then we're going to kill the skunk, but we still have three of our people left, and the ox is arguably the strongest still. So we have a pretty good build so far. Five trophies. And we've unlocked tier 6 animals, though the gorilla is a tier 6, so I'm not sure how we snuck that in there. Probably unfreezes deer, though it's tempting to stack it up there. Would it be stupid to stack the deer one more time? Probably. Let's do it anyway. Plus 6, plus 6. I kind of also want to see the next level of bus. Uh, but for now, we're just going to freeze one of those apples. We're going to roll again to see if we get anything neat. The fly can be fun if we also had a dog because every time something dies, uh, it's going to spawn a 2-2 fly in its place. 
Crocodiles are fun because at the start of battle they just lob 7 damage towards something randomly. I think for now I'm going to buy the sushi, can give 3 random pets plus 1 plus 1. That loaded my front end. So let's just roll again and hopefully we get something good that could potentially stack. Or maybe canned food, we're going to freeze that for sure. Okay, after rolling again, I got a peacock, so we're going to freeze that for next turn when we can afford it, because that's going to help level up our peacock, and after that, we're just going to end the turn and hope we win this next one. We're starting to get to the point, though, where we're going to see some ridiculously strong things over here, like this is already 1618, and this is just a cricket. So, we're obviously going to die to that right away, but then we're going to spawn a big bus in its place, and that bus is going to do quite a bit of damage to both of these front two. Uh, and that's going to help me out in a big way. Now, the gorilla is going to take out the flea. But there's going to be an idiot spawned in the flea's place and the kangaroo is getting stronger because I can't bust through this front layer yet. That flea is actually really, really strong. I didn't realize you could get them that strong considering that's a spawned idiot. All right, well, we might be in a bit of trouble here, but we're going to do our best. We hit the kangaroo. The tarantula is going to trade with that, but it's going to spawn an idiot in its place. Like a camel. Perfect. That's actually going to help us out in a pretty big way. The camel's obviously going to die right away before taking off half the rooster's health. But the ox is now up to 14-14, and it's going to take no damage there. It's going to take a lot of damage here, uh, which is fine, but not really. Uh, and then it's going to take out this, uh, but then it's also going to die, so we're out. Hmm. Needed a little bit of adjustment. It was going well, though. We had five trophies. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is upgrade the dolphin. I want to see what that damage is, so now we deal 10 damage to the lowest health enemy. We also got this fly that works really good though too, so I'm going to have to sacrifice the kangaroo for that. That's probably a bit of a controversial choice, but then we're also going to use the canned food to hopefully upgrade the ox and the peacock. Wait, oh, that upgraded down here. Yeah, I forgot how that worked. I'm getting very tired, so I just did that backwards. Okay, also the turkey works very well with summoned units, so that's probably going to replace our dolphin next round. Which is crazy to think about because the dolphin's going to be pretty good right now. He's going to bomb some unit for 10 damage straight away, which is probably going to eliminate them. Yep, so we're going to take out the deer right away, which, now that I think about it, isn't necessarily a great exchange anyway. Well, we're going to deal with the bus now. That's fine. That's going to uh, let the peacock enrage. And that's going to start the ox going. we really got to get the ox upgrading also. I've been focusing on the peacock, which I don't really regret because it's really strong. But the ox needs some love too. Tarantula actually exchanged with my peacock for some reason. Uh, that is going to be a problem. Didn't really realize that was there. Okay, we're going to finish off the giraffe. That's going to start to upgrade my ox, but I think it's going to be too little too late to deal with the hippo. We're going to do the fly. It's going to do the same thing. Fly is going to die. Ox is going to upgrade. The ox is going to hit the hippo twice, so it's actually... Well, not anymore. It was going to defeat it. Now it's going to be well shy of defeating it, thanks to my stupid fly. And the hippo keeps healing, which is kind of the problem. Every time it defeats something, it gets two health back. It makes... Oh, four health back because it's upgraded. Hippos are overpowered. I should probably be working with hippos more. Because um, that hippo single-handedly destroyed me. Right, well, there's still hope. Okay, we're going to change it up. We're going to upgrade the peacock to level 3. So every time it's hurt, it gains 6 attack. We did also just get a tiger. Which unfortunately doesn't really fit into our build currently. The first thing I'm going to do is remove this dolphin for 2 gold. We're going to put a turkey there. Now all of our spawned units are going to get plus 3, plus 3. We have a lot of spawned units coming in. I'm going to freeze this tiger because I know it could be good under the right situation. Uh, we're also going to give something splash damage to be really mean, so... This is such a weird build that I don't know what to make of it anymore. I'm just going to go like that. There you go. The splash damage of my um, peacock should hopefully do a lot. So... Okay, it hit the first two pretty hard. Unfortunately, neither of them died, but now we're going to have plus five, plus five flies galore. That's going to annoy the life out of their team. Uh, okay, they have a pretty good setup too. They do the same thing I do by superpowering their oxes. They just have an obnoxiously strong ox, unlike mine, which I forgot to upgrade. But we got the ox out of the way eventually. Now it's time for my ox to take a turn. Then we're going to plow into their monkeys, and I'm going to like that part. But we keep spawning flies as well, so thanks to the turkey-fly combination, we get a lot of extra hits in. And a lot of extra hit points. So my ox actually jumped up to 8 and 5, which isn't bad. Plus it gets a free hit. So... Even though its stats aren't huge, it's still very good. And thinking about it, I should swap those two around. But we win. We can only die one more time, but we got six trophies. Plus, we unlocked tier six animals, which we already had. So I think this time I'm going to do sushi. That's going to give three of them a plus one, plus one. 
then I'm going to boost probably my ox because it just needs a little bit of help. Then we're going to roll and um, yeah, actually both of these are amazing finds. We're going to save this one for next time because I'm not really sure what I want to upgrade and we're just going to go another plus three to stats. And that's what happened. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get optimal parts building this, so we'll see if we can carry on forward. It's going to get pretty difficult because um, actually that doesn't look too intimidating. Oh, the 45 level chicken kind of is, though. I didn't really see that. But we're going to splash through that one, which definitely isn't too bad at all. We got a badger to deal with now, but that's okay. Those are out of the way. This, we're going to take two hits of 45, but they're mostly going to land on summons anyway, so what do I care? 31 versus 45 damage. We're just, both are going to die. There's no getting around that. But now they're going to summon a uh, very weak chick in their place. Two of them, actually, but that's okay. Oh, I guess that's because the tiger or something. I don't know why there's two chicks. Either way, they're going to do a lot of damage, but they're also going to die very quickly. Okay, now it's just a matter of dealing with the uh, dodo bird thing and then the tiger, which is actually very weak. And plus we have plus five, plus five flies spawning inconsistently. So uh, yeah, we, it actually takes a lot of hit points to tear through us. Another victory, number seven. I kind of wish I knew better how the tiger worked. Because if I put the tiger behind, say, um, the fly, that means when something dies, does it give me two flies instead? Because that would be overpowered. Unfortunately, I don't really know. So we're going to unfreeze this and add some experience to him, which is going to upgrade him. So if we put a tiger behind a gorilla, would that work? Like, would we get two shields per turn? I don't know if that works. That's potentially really overpowered, but I don't want to risk my build now. So we'll just go ahead and freeze the gorilla there and see if we can roll for something relevant. We did get pizza. Give two random pets plus two plus two. So that's fine by me. Wasn't the greatest lens, but you know what? I don't care. Uh, we also have dragons. If you have a dragon, buying tier one pets gives you plus one plus one to all your idiots. But I'm not going to be buying any plus one pets anymore. So we're just going to jump into battle pretty much like this. I would think by this point your builds are going to be pretty much locked in. You're going to tinker with them a bit. That uh, hippo is going to be the end of me. Because he's going to one shot my idiot. Oh, that else actually killed my fly. That was really uh, unlucky or really smart on their part. Because they just knocked out my whole strategy in one shot. But um, you know what? That's okay. No matter what you do, there's going to be some kind of build that just counters yours perfectly no matter what. So that's okay. This really makes me want to do some ridiculous hippo build though because that thing's a beast. Like, it took my entire team and I didn't even kill it. Yeah, I need to do a hippo build. 